know from the road, the main road, she's heading to the road. If I can, I'll remember the place, so yeah, this is interesting. Remember the place. So I have actually made it. Um, <laughs> I thought I was going to get lost, so this is good. So in the beacon, which shows the nine can our line. But you know, in the padiane, na in the ngoku, ukuyoku, iri pesa. Yeah, but Pacona. Eh, but Pacona. Eh, could you could But Pacona, Padopo Yava, eh? Shopo Yava. Pacona, Padopo Yava. Hm, no more to I should have any point to the radio. Who could have I'm at the farm now. And um, I need to put a line this side, so this side of trees. That side we have some eucalyptus trees which were planted, but apparently uh, they've, they've been taken out. So Kutatwishi, where, where the line is. So we've got a beacon there, but we don't have a beacon on this side. Uh, so I will try and see what we can do. What is the beacon here? Okuyok. There are no trees here, so we have to plant trees. This land has been uh, laid bare. No trees. As you can see, now putting, we're going to plant these uh, trees. So to be to Allah, but now Musebo. Eh? Musebo, eh? Shala. No, when to Gamwa Gamwa is straight up, ah, now Mumu no Musebo. So if you move there, there, up. In she can be called a pan, woman. Pantu line Nipano Pantu got twice a book on Canani can it pano. So the two ambo conquer it me there. I some bonnet. So in she to a rough wire times three. Let, let me see how many do we need. Oh, my God. Uh, Oh, that's nice. Nice, somebody could, yeah. So I just want to go and check on the other side. So they're saying uh, they've done two and a half distances. So you could see we've got some mango trees here. A mango area fuma. That's the only, the only plants that we have. The problem is the Malo Chamo, Muno. Malo Chamo. So the idea is to try and plant as many trees as we can. Um, <sighs> so maybe Umotavalima. I saw Pangakwatnika forest. Started with uh, trying to put some trees near Pantunatu Kwatech Shima, a well, just there. So, at least if we can have some trees just following that car road, along that car road, that would be fine. Actually, that road is in our, in our, in our plot. 
um, I'll try and see maybe the next time I'm here we'll try and find the location this side so this is about a hundred meters from this side this is somebody's farm so you can see these these are the trees that they planted this side but that one is planted under the tree And I've got a bacon there. This is somebody's farm. This is my farm this side. So I've got some trees. There's some trees that got burnt. And I can't see this side to survive. But they've planted the trees under this under the the shade. Because these trees are not going to be cut off. So you can't put a tree there. Yeah. So we have areas where there is like rock stones. I think these will be dedicated for a mini little forest like here. Um, so the next time I come I'll buy another hundred I can have uh possibly maybe 10 meters by whatever it is just a straight line of uh of trees uh, so that we can create uh, a nice place uh, here so the plans here um we'll be building a house i think i'm going to build it here I build a house for a caretaker, a good house. And uh, once we've done that, I'll be going to Zafiko today to get the price for uh, the poles. And then we can start fencing this once we've got somebody here. We plan to put a borehole here. I know we have uh, a well which doesn't dry, that, that doesn't dry there, the bore. So we can, in the meantime, just. Uh, Put a storage tank but all that will come when we have uh, that will come when we have uh, uh, somebody living here I know I have got somebody here but I need to have uh, someone that I have engaged and uh, uh, he knows that his job is to look after this farm it might be somebody it might be the person that's living in this a uh, little house, but we will make sure that we build a good house uh, and a storeroom. So we've just started and I want to try and develop this piece of land. It's so quiet and peaceful. This is really, really good. I'm so impressed uh, with the piece of land. And it's so flat. Yes, there are patches where there are rocks. Um, but you can do quite a lot even on there. So the plan is basically to have um, chicken runs here where we can put a fence, especially when we put uh, a caretaker. We'll have some village chickens here and uh, we will have some gardens when we have some water going. Uh, we will have uh, 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 even pigs. So today I intend to go around and learn how people are keeping these things, uh, goats, uh, sheep, chickens and all that. <laughs> Sorry, all this will be done remotely, but it, you know, you have to be very clever how you do it. Uh, when time done, one day, we might come and settle here, but we don't know uh, for now. But. This is a place where every time I come here, I'll find myself spending a lot of time. It's so quiet. It's just, as you saw, it's not far from uh, the road, uh, the tired road. And uh, it's just the quietness, the peace that you get when you're at the farm. So I've got these guys helping me, uh, putting these uh, trees, 100 trees and uh, I'm going to pay them a hundred kwacha. Uh, 
that's what they said. So, so you see, labor is not that expensive uh, here. And you can do quite a lot. And I always say, whenever you try to... Um, whenever you... Uh, in the diaspora try to make sure that you find land uh, and uh, invest in land I mean I'm going to pr plant these trees and I will, every time I come here I will be planting these trees and I'll have thousands and thousands of pine trees here at the farm um, we intend to build a house at the far end there there's some trees I don't know whether I showed you uh, but that is the plan for the future. Uh, but I love this piece of land and I'm just gonna walk around up to the top. I did, but this is what it is. So I'm just gonna walk up to the far end there. Um, so this is five, five hectares. So one side is 500 meters and the other side is 100 meters. So you're talking about 50,000 square meters. Uh, you can do quite a lot here. And I intend to do quite a lot. Um, last season we did cultivate, we did plant about six lima. Um, but a lot of, but the crop was stolen. We had a very good plant, uh, maize, but the crop, the crop was stolen. So I always say this, Thieves cannot uh, deter us from doing what we think is right. So we are going to make sure that this place is secure. Uh, and uh, when we build, when we start developing, when we start planting, it's so secure, security-wise. Make sure that uh, the path that is here, people walking here can't because we put a wire fence fence all around and with, with the dedicated area for um, uh, entrance so and we'll have people living here people who will know that they have to protect this property here and uh, I love it I really love it it's so beautiful but like I said no trees trees have been cut so we are not going to cut any trees We'll be planting fruits, we'll be planting every time we come. And I'm, I still have a few days here in Zambia. I will try and uh, plant some more. This is what you do at the farm. Land, they have moved. The big one here. This one goes all the way. So that, yeah. I think that's, that road is okay. So this is the corner of our farm. Again, I need to fit this. Well, somebody is building a beautiful house on the on the other side. So this is our corner. Uh, I don't know whether that's a wall fence. I think we are building there. I think we are building a wall fence. So there is uh, there is quite a lot going on here. But I think eh, let me fly a drone to just see what's happening let me put this properly So possibly we might put a wall fence this side, this hundred meters. Um, that road from that side will come all the way to go in this side, in this side. 
in this part. So we will be leaving this side. We we'll put a wall fence this side, and uh, God willing, we can actually put an some shell. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, or homestead, uh, organic, eating whatever we grow here, and um, we we'll plant loads of trees, we have orchard, um, and we we'll have gardens. We will have uh, uh, a homestead, you know, traditional homestead, nice. Uh, traditionally built but obviously offering the luxurious um, outlook offering the luxurious uh, feel of living outside town where it's so quiet and absolutely no noise so this is what we would try and uh, plan here actually I need to get hold of uh, the uh, the architect because I've got a time foot time this morning. So let me try and call the architect We can design and come up with something that we want to put here. So on that side Where there are trees there There's some rocks. That's where our house will be yeah. and then This place will be fed. We'll have Zesco because it's not far. I've seen some pole lines somewhere so we can have Zesco here, but ultimately we'll be looking for uh, having solar panels uh, installed so that this is completely off-grid. Uh, you have electricity, there's loads of sun here being fed here. We intend to uh, put on here uh, yeah, a place where you can stay. If you want to work remotely, you want a place that is quiet, uh, in the woods, in the bushes, in the outskirts of Zambia, this would offer you that uh, with, the, with obviously the conveniences of modern facilities. We have, we have Starlink, so internet will be so fast here and you can still work from here. Uh, electricity will be there, you can have the swimming pool, you can, uh, you can go into the gardens and uh, you can have, you can pick whatever you want to eat so we will have gardens here we will have chickens here so eggs will be coming from the um, uh, this piece of land that we have here so it's a massive massive plan that we uh, do have for this piece of land I actually love this piece of land I love this piece of land in Jesus name I do love this piece of land so this is what we intend to do here and uh, as you can see, currently there's nothing in there, just planting and you know, that's it. But what we want to do is use this piece of land all throughout the year. Because uh, this, is, this, is, this is a resource, this is, this is, this is money. So if you, if you plant when the rain starts raining and then when you cultivate, you push, you pull out your crop and you, le you leave the the fields bare you know we need to use this so these trees that are there we will not cut any trees in here we will not burn this place and i need to make sure that we have a fire break so that we don't get fires coming onto this piece of land we will make sure that we restore this the biodiversity of this place 